Hey guys, welcome back. We got one of the probably the most common things I get asked is skinning a bird. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to not talk too much. Let me find a good focus. Um, just get into it real time. So if you have a bird, you can lay it out pretty easy. Um, and like I said, because it's like whether you're traveling. So like, for example, when I went to Rhode Island to shoot eiders, you've got these six pound birds. So you can either try to take, say you have four of them, you're donating the meat wherever you're hunting so you don't have to travel with, try to keep that cool and blah, blah, blah. you guys know that, do that. Um, you know, you can knock six pound bird, not only space wise, down to much less, um, but that could be storage. You know, man, I got a couple birds in the freezer, just whatever. But one of the most common things is, is how to skin them. So that's what I wanted to go over today. So let me get this to stop gyrating here. So I'm going to send them until here. We'll do it real time. Um, I just have water bottle. And all I use, even on travel, is just X-Acto and like a medical kind of grade scissors. So first thing I do if I have a bird, so after he's kind of, say you shot him, and later in the morning you have uh, he's been kind of sitting and getting stiff. So that's obviously a really nice cinnamon. He has a little break, but... So I kind of, you know, get out towards the end and just kind of slowly work that back. Because when, when you skin them and you start to go down, you don't want the uh, the wings kind of laying to his side. Then I'll just get the feet. He's still a little frozen. Or not frozen, but cold. And I just want to kind of get them moving a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to try to do this so, you know, if you got... Uh, all right, we're still in focus. I'm going to really try to make sure it's a focus. I know a couple of my videos I was like, what the hell? Um, okay, so all I do here, this is probably one of the bigger ones. So you're basically going to cut from, there's a breastbone where the breastbone turns into the crop and the neck area. You start there, cut all the way down the center, down to the, the vent. One of the things I see is people try to do thumbs like this. You want to have your thumbs kind of like laying flat. And I just kind of go through. And this will be easier on some birds. So I'll kind of just get a little bit of a sprinkle. Just enough to start getting that down out of the way. Because I had a few to skin today. I was like, man, I had a Harlequin and a few others that were... Uh, I was hoping to get... I mean, obviously a cinnamon is pretty awesome. But I was hoping that it shows up on camera. So now I'm just going through, because the feathers interlock when they go down, you know, they, they're like shingles. So you're just trying to separate it out. Um, all right, we're still good. And so like I said, this is one of the things like, man, I wish I had a skin. So hopefully this video, real time, people can pause, do whatever. And so like now I'm just trying to, so you can kind of see, so there's the vent down here. So as I kind of have it separated, a little bit of a mist, just to kind of, you want to get that down. And I mean, this part here, especially, um, you know, most of the time, it's better not to have it skin when you're taking it into somebody to mount. Um, just because if it's kind of chopped up, it obviously makes things more difficult, but... If you do it, and this is this is for if you're trying to save it for, or you're using it for mounting taxidermy. All right, so now that I have this, so I'm feeling the breastbone. It stops right here, and so then I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure on the sides. And you don't want to just do little small cuts. You want to try to make it as fluid as possible as you go down. So I start there. Just want to go, and if you apply a little bit of pressure, that kind of separates it enough to where you can kind of see where you cut, you know, and just keep separating it out. You can see, so I mean, now you can see where the cuts happened. Obviously, I've already got the feathers separated, so then that's good. So then I'm just going to. 
and try not to cut too deep at the bottom. So basically I'm just cutting until I hit the vent and and stop in there. So like if you hit if you if you hit the vent, that little area won't rip as you're pulling or moving the skin. If you cut through the vent or not to it, that skin is so thin that through the normal processes of things, whether it's uh, skinning, fleshing, whatever. Ow, cut myself. So then now I just want to get, um, kind of take a little hold. And the main thing you're looking for is you're just trying to cut, um, kind of like film, like the white film. So if you can get a little bit of, I'll show it on the other side. Because you have the you have the skin, you have the obviously the the body itself, and some of it is just knowing anatomy. But like here, you can see it'll focus. Oh, is it focusing? Okay. So here's kind of like a filmy area, and you're just trying to trying to get it yeah you're just trying to get where as you put you can see it right there and so uh, now you're just separating you got the film and so you got the skin over here and you that's all you're trying to do so I wanted to be sure to show that just because that's that's the concept of it all so I got the film here this microphone's driving me crazy. So same thing here, we'll cut. And then I'm just trying to, so then when you get down to the bottom, there's two little bumps that stick out on the bottom. You have, you have the breast, you have two little bumps, and then you have the vent. Or you have the vent, two little bumps, and then the, the breast. So when you get down to here, if you cut too much, you're gonna cut the, the wall I guess of the abdomen it doesn't really matter. It makes things uh we so focused. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So I'm really wanting to okay. So I mean it doesn't matter too much, but you know, if you can if you can get it separated from it, all the better. So especially down here, I always cut the other thing is you know, never cut like this. You always want to cut kind of towards the the meat because that way if you nick or if you do something if you're cutting like this you're going to make a bunch of slices so you always want to cut kind of the tip towards that and you know you want to have a little bit of pressure so right here in the bump the bottom I'm trying to make things as simple as possible in the explanation um, you just want to kind of get it cleared and then just kind of you know slowly work it make sure everything's clear and make sure when you cut that you're not as the slice goes through you're not going to be hitting another part of the skin so like on a little bit bigger bird it'd be a little easier um it takes longer but it'd be a little easier and i just thought it was cool so then we get some ducks right here will have where are we at let me get some ducks right here will have a more of a film so it'll be more of you won't get to see the the leg quite as pronounced but so this is good all I'm trying to do here is just get the film off the leg itself so then that away I'll just take my hands and I'm kind of just running the skin so now you can see the leg is kind of exposed. That's where the scissors come in. And then you're just wanting to make sure everything's clear, feathers, skin, everything, get, get right under the joint. A couple cuts. And then now you can cut straight down once you make that cut. And here, just make sure, you know, kind of envision where the skin is. I can see the skin on this side. I can see the skin over here. So you're just trying to cut it. For this video, I'll just do, I'm not gonna go down the whole leg because this is kind of just for 
you know, you're on a trip. This is what I often do. And then, of course, donate to meat. Um, normally, the outfitter will have have a system set up for that anyway. And then that way, if you have a cooler bag, you can fit, you know, a dozen birds from your trip as opposed to, you know, three. So, basically, this is one side. Uh, make sure... Make sure everything's in focus this time. Um, so we have the bump exposed. We have it cut from the top of the breastbone down. And like I said, then once the leg, you can see here that we got that free. So now I'm just going to do it to the other side. Do the same thing. Just film. Make sure I'm cutting towards the body. So you can kind of see this side a little better. Um, you can see this side a little bit better. Um, and I'm just kind of running it along the film line until I get to, you know, and a lot of stuff too is like if you, if you do have a, a few nicks in it, um, obviously I'm just kind of used to this, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. So especially in the body area, it's, nowhere near as detrimental as head and neck and stuff like that so uh, makes makes the fleshing part a little bit tougher but so we got this down all right so now we got the leg exposed again just kind of doing a little light you can kind of see the film kind of peel back there same thing just kind of grabbing the leg pushing the skin around now we have the and all I want is my fingers there. That way nothing is in the way. There's that main knee joint right here. So I just want to go underneath that. Boom. Same thing we did a second ago. Now we're just going to kind of get it straight down. And I said this is, this is one of the parts. This and when we get to the butt here in a second. That's the main parts that you need to kind of. Eh, kind of visualize where where the skin's going to be. Because right here, it's like, okay, I know the skin's right here, the meat. And at the same time, you know, don't be afraid. If you have to cut through the meat and leave a little bit more on the skin, it's not a big deal. It comes, you know, it's got to come off anyway with scissors or whatever. So, all right, so then now I got my legs good. Now I want to kind of free this stuff up. Get this peel back. You got the two bumps here. All right, two bumps, boom, boom. So then now I'm going to cut right below them. And I'm just going to kind of go down, cut through one of the tubes. Male has one, female has two. You'll start to feel bone right here. Quick snip of the tailbone. And from here, I just, you know, so from here, you're going to be cutting through some meat. And you can kind of you can feel the uh, the bone the boniness of the back, so you, you want to make sure you're definitely cutting towards the body itself. Um, I'll always just bend them, try to show everything, so it's kind of. But I'll I'll do them vertically, and so now I'm kind of just applying a little bit of pressure just to get some film showing. So then what I do here is you want to couple fingers hold this this leg the remaining part of the leg uh down and then with these I kind of pull against the skin so you all you're trying to do if somebody was helping you and they could hold this and this and do this that way somebody could cut same thing but obviously you know by yourself so here I'm just kind of cutting I'm just trying to get through and again here it's it's you know, especially if you haven't done it a lot, just stay along the the back where you can actually feel, you know, where the bone is. Because, I mean, I don't have a lot of meat, um, but if you do have meat, it's much better than a hole, I guess is what. It's much better than a freaking cut, so. And same thing here, just a little bit of pressure. Just trying to get it separated out. 
and hopefully with this, uh, I said I know a lot of people that uh, hopefully this will. Because I'm gonna start doing some of these. I've done a lot of the mounting stuff, and um, you know, with this, it's like I'm, you know. I doubt people are going to be watching taxidermy videos that, that don't understand you have to skin them. So here, uh, so here you can see the film. Now I'm just working it. Here you can kind of like start to kind of peel it down a little bit. So there we go. Yeah. So then now we're just trying to, like I said, when in doubt, just go against the go against the body so just going down you can see over here it's got the kind of upper this is part of the flight web um, I'm gonna kind of cut high you can see the skin level here I'm gonna kind of cut high as that starts to go down and then let's see All right, hold on one second let me pause it and get the light back on all right, we're back. Low battery, so. All right, so. So we have uh, going down the back, flight web. So all you're trying to do here, make sure we're still, okay. Is you're just trying to, same thing. I'm going to do it all slow. That way, if you're following along, um, you know, it may take you a little bit. But So this kind of jumbled mess when you get into here. You know, try to press down a little bit. If it's not too shot, um, you'll be all right. I don't worry much about here. Um, if you fold it back, and you can kind of get a few cuts in. Um, you don't want this part to rip, especially. So since I've got the skin on this side worked down, and I can now I can kind of see. I'll continue to cut high. Same thing, cut here in the meat side of it. And I, now I'm cutting straight into... Now I'm not trying to peel back as much. Now I'm just trying to cut basically to separate the wing from the body itself. And so now instead of trying to work the skin now, once I've kind of gotten to that flight web part, now I'm just cutting straight straight down, straight down until I get to uh, the joint. And sometimes depending on if it's broken, it'll be harder than other times. But you can always tap like this until you find... Uh, find that little tendon part, which is over here. And same thing here, I'm trying to pinch kind of like I did on the leg. So I'm trying to pinch uh, so I kind of know where. So I got one side of the wing bone, the other side here. So now I'm just going down. And yeah, we can still see everything. And so then it's just a matter of cutting until the meat's separated and the skin's left. Then we come over. Hopefully this shows up, man. I I definitely... Uh, so here is a, probably a better example. So you can see where the webbing... That's not the webbing. That's part of the just fascia or whatever. But um, you can still see the mound here. So I'm just going to kind of cut it first. And then now I'm still, you know, I don't want to cut right above this tip right here. I want to kind of go up a little bit more and just cut straight into the body. And like I said here, if I can get a little bit of film, kind of work it out. Same thing, get a pinch. I can kind of bend it. That's why you want to bend the wings because for this part here. So now I've got it bent and you can see the skin. So now I'm just going to kind of, because no matter how much, even if I cut, say, up here, it wouldn't really matter because I have to turn the wings anyway when I mount it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, if anything, it's just more to, you know, work with. And perfect. Here we can see the, can see the, the joint. So you got bone, bone, and then right in between. Is where we want to set up shop. So I, I want to keep pulling because you want to have tension. If you keep it like this and you're cutting and cutting, you're not going to get as far as 
if you pinch, pinch and pull, and then each time I cut, I'm separating it out just from the, so here, okay, and then now I can uh, go around the front, kind of just, you know, fold the feathers back, when in doubt, just, just make things as visible as possible. So then now I've got this, now I just kind of make a little okay sign, and then just kind of grasp the neck and pull, and then I'm going to cut it, I would say cut it right at the base of where the body meets the neck, that away when you get it mounted, if you're dropping it off somewhere, that way when they do skin this, they have the length for the neck. Because if not, if you cut it up here, you know, and say it's supposed to be, you know, tills normally about four and a half, and if, if it's some kind of weird species, you don't want the neck size to be wrong. And then that's it. And so we have the skin, and so from here, you would... Uh, you know, you could get some saran wrap or put them in a freezer bag, just kind of fold them up a little bit. And now you have this little lightweight compact. And so we look inside real quick. Where's where we cut the neck. That's what the wings look like. We separated them. We got the tail down here. Everything is uh, nice and smooth. No holes. And the back area especially is where you're going to have probably the most kind of issues. Just make sure you follow, because um, there's not much here. So just make sure you follow, kind of here, the, the bone part. And keep a little bit of tension on there so you see the film, and you'll be fine. And that's it. And so from here, you have a much more uh, kind of easier package to do. I'm going to do another video real quick just on simple how to bag a bird up. Um, that's the other one that kind of gets asked. But anyway, that's a uh, how to skin a duck for mounting. Um, better for storage, just for whatever. And uh, that's it. So any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoy. And I'm out.